Rose Petals and welcome to Wednesday here on Diva and the Diamonds. I'm your host Warren and you know what that means? It's time to get melted! Melted, melted, melted. This week is going to be a fun week for some people. It'll be fun for people to watch. It may leave others mortified that they're even making a video about the things that they're making about. And I think that you all know that that's going to be me because, well, I have got some real stories. As Melissa pointed out, I am just full of embarrassing stories. So let's get started. The first story that I want to tell you guys, it's kind of gross and embarrassing happened when I was in preschool. I was over at my friend Kelsey's house. Shout out to Kelsey, wherever you may be in life. Um, and they had rats. And Kelsey and I decided to play with the rats. And so we were going to, they were in their like playroom. Um, and we picked the rat up by its ear. And this wasn't like, this wasn't a tiny rat. This rat was fat. And the poor rat's ear ripped off. <laughs> the rat's ear ripped off. It fell back in the cage. It's bleeding. It's screaming. And I had to tell them. It was so embarrassing. Oh my God. I... I mean, that was just really, that was the turning point that Warren knew he was going to have some really embarrassing stories in life. My next story happened to me in first grade. We had gone on a field trip. I don't remember where, probably the zoo or something, because that's where we always went. Uh, so we were writing little like thank you cards to our chaperones and decorating them and making them very beautiful. And mine was looking really good. And I just, I was just on a roll. And I, <laughs> I didn't have time to take a break for anything, including going to the bathroom. So I'm doing my little art and I peed myself. <laughs> and the kid sitting next to me, his name, um, his last name was Warren. And he looked down and he's like, what's that? And I was like, I don't know. And I just kept, I kept doing my beautiful art. And then the teacher comes around and she looks and obviously I start crying. And I tell her, tell her what's happened. She sends me to the principal's office and probably more embarrassing than peeing yourself is having to wear an ugly outfit after peeing yourself, which I had to do. They put me in, oh God, they put me in this like hideous sweatsuit outfit, like navy blue sweatpants and sweatshirt. And I had to ride home on the bus like that. And that was a sign. That was a sign that you had peed yourself at school. People knew. People actually knew. The next story happened after I left Redland Elementary where I peed. In fourth or fifth grade, I can't remember which, I had a stint where I liked to go to the emergency room. In probably like a three month period or so, I went quite a few times. And one of the times that I went, um, I was having a lot of like tummy issues. The, my tummy really hurt and I was crying and I bent over in pain. So I went and they took x-rays of my stomach and then the doctor asked me how long it had been since I had pooped. And, <laughs> and I said, it's probably been about a month. Um, I was just too busy. I obviously, I'm a very busy person that has no time for the bathroom. So they show the x-ray to myself and my parents and who has shit up to their chest. Oh, just, just me because I haven't pooped. And so now to embarrass not only myself, but my parents, they had to take turns putting an enema in my bum hole. And let me tell you, if you have ever had an enema in your bum hole before, 
it is awful. You literally have to poop immediately after you have one of these. And I couldn't. They, you have to like hold it in for like 10 minutes. So I held it and then I exploded. That end of story, I have always had poop issues. Now to jump ahead in life, in high school, we had a math class for the last period of the day and it was on the second like basement floor. And so to leave the school, you had to go up the stairs. So like a pack of hyenas, we all start climbing the stairs of the school because the bell has rung and we're leaving. And who falls down the stairs while well, everyone is packed? Oh, that's right, me. And not that that isn't embarrassing enough, my crack is showing. <laughs> Oh God. And so not only have I fallen, my crack is showing and I am panicking. It's much like Kathy Griffin says in her album, For Your Consideration. She says that when someone faints, the first thing that they ask is, did you see my pussy? And <laughs> that was the moment that I was having when I fell down. Did you see my crack? Did you see my crack? And of course, Everyone had seen my crack. The final story that I'm going to leave you with is probably the ultimate embarrassing story of my life. This story has lived on for generations of employees at Papa Murphy's in Malala. I was working the closing shift with my homegirl, Anais. We were listening to music, probably Kelly Clarkson, because Since You've Been Gone was our jam. And I had taken the trash out the back door and I was coming back in and it was kind of a, a little like, it was sketchy because it was in the back. So I bring the trash can in and I go to shut the door, make sure that the door shuts and it won't shut. And I start panicking. I'm pulling the door, it won't shut. I start crying and screaming. And I'm like, Anna! Anais, get a knife! And so I'm thinking, I'm thinking that a bum has come in or is trying to break in. So I'm screaming at her to grab a knife off the little wall and she just starts cracking up. And again, my crack is showing. <laughs> so my pants are falling down. I'm screaming and crying. I think that someone is trying to break in. Anais will not stop laughing at me. I'm crying even more. And then I look up. And what has happened? Oh, the mop got stuck on the door. And so the mop was stuck in the little door jam and bent the, <laughs> bent the door because of how hard I was pulling on it. <sighs> and they never fixed the door. So apparently Anais, who continued to work at the store for years after I left, would initiate new team members by telling them about how the door broke and the crack that she saw. Yes. Okay, I am so embarrassed and mortified that I even told these stories. They, I mean, I've told them so many times that I guess I'm not super embarrassed, but I'll probably be embarrassed because I'm sure new people are gonna be hearing this for the first time. So just support me in this, and by supporting me, you need to tell me your embarrassing story. So leave it in the comments, and I cannot wait to hear Rosie's stories because I know that Homegirl is going to have some good ones. So I will see you next Wednesday, and until then, be fabulous, my little rose petals. Bye! <laughs>